get lots of requests for videos to show how exactly a control panel is built. And it's a really broad topic because, you know, there's like thousands of different control panel configurations. But I happen to be building one right now that I thought was a really good fit for a how-to video on basically how I do go about building a control panel. It will have a main circuit breaker with a disconnect handle. Actually, we have a whole video already on how to install that. I'll put links to that in the description. It will have two VFD drives, basic power supply, circuit breakers, and push buttons, which are actually the customer's request to be remotely mounted. So we'll go through a little bit about how we make the connections, type of cabling to go, and how we enter the enclosure with it. One big thing that you'll see is missing from this one is a PLC, and that's on purpose, because I think when we do a how-to video on control panels, and it includes a PLC, we get more into you know how to program and how to design, but I really want to stick with what exact steps I do to physically build a control panel. Now this is about a 10 to 12 hour build, so obviously I'm not going to make a 10 to 12 hour video because that will be super boring. Also, don't think I can cram this into, say, a 10 minute video. So um, this will probably be the beginning of a series. I'm not exactly sure yet because um, obviously I'm starting to record when um, I'm building this and I'll see just how it breaks up. He always wants to know, you know, hey, what's your control panel shop look like? Well, um, so I'll give you a quick tour of mine. Um, one, I just have a basic cart that I build uh, control panels on. Um, I'm actually, this is not a good setup, and I will go ahead and tell you that because um, I spend a lot of time hunched over, and that's not really good for your posture. So I do have a timer that occasionally, you know, hey, you need to get up, you need to stretch, you need to move around, make sure you're not hunched over all the time. I do have a much higher than normal work surface, though, because to try to reduce that hunching. What I would love to have, which, hey, if you have any recommendations, this be sure to put them down in the comments is I would like to have a workstation, one that's on the wheels, would have adjustable height and be able to tilt over. And I've seen some of them, but none of them quite work um, the way I'm hoping to. I'll go around my shop real quick though. Um, obviously I have PLCs ready to grab, you know, because we do a lot of panel builds with um, PLCs. Um, now everybody asks you, hey, what's your wire setup? Well, that is one thing I think I do decently. Yes, you're looking at my ceiling now, is right above me, I have all the wire that I typically use. And also you can see I have tons and tons of lights because you need good light to make sure you don't make mistakes, plus, you know, so you don't go blind. But yes, mainly that way I can pull wire down, I can be working on the panel. And, you know, when I walk away or I need to go grab something, there isn't, you know, there isn't wire for me to trip over. Because see, as you can see, I can walk all the way around my area. Uh, beyond that, you know, I have your basic workbenches, all my hardware that I may need. Um, also, yeah, um, I'll probably do a separate video of this. Um, I have a automatic wire stripper that I use on a lot of our um, standard panels where, you know, they're all, you know, we, we may need 200 of the same length wire. This thing can spit them out in about two minutes. I use basic drills. I do use Dewalt. Now, they aren't paying me for this. They should be paying for me this because I sure go through a lot of Dewalt stuff. Dewalt impacts. And while we'll go closer into it here in a little bit, I do use these combination bits, as you can see here. Now, this has the drill on the end of it and the tap. So you can drill and tap at the same time. Now, that is a two-fold reason. As you, as you can tell, I already told you um, about, you know, trying to be, keep from being hunched over. Well, also, um, when you drill through and it breaks through, it jars your back. And so by having that tap on there, as it breaks through, it goes into the tap mode and actually slows that down and actually eases, it down, eases the pressure on your back a little bit. Okay, I think that's a good place to stop this first video. And the next one will go through laying out the outside of the enclosure and cutting it. Till next time. Hi, this is Tim. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Be sure to subscribe for more great videos. And like this video and comment on what you would like to see next. Visit our website where we offer a full line of PLCs, simulators, control panels, PLC trainers, and more.